So do you think uh, working with the uh, Flash games and doing a lot of little games helped you like build a, a network of trusted people that you worked with later, or have you always worked with the same people? Um, I don't know. It's hard to say. Well, I mean, regardless, making a lot of different games and, and the ability that Flash gives you to make a lot of these small different games, um, like making, making games or making any kind of content with any kind of art form or even business form, the more you do, the more you learn, and the better you get. So churning out shitloads of games through develop, through like the ten, the past ten years of my life, that's what has gotten me to this point. Like each game was me leveling up one level and gaining more knowledge as I went, and then finally got to that point where I could do something like Meat Boy. But in order to get to Meat Boy, you know there was a, you know a plethora of games that I had done before that I learn, 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 learn from, and then finally got there. And yeah, you, you, um, over time you meet a lot of people, your, your name gets recognized. People do you favors. If you do them favors, the whole, you know, behind the scenes business stuff, you know, you make friends, you make enemies. It's, it's, it's kind of the way it works. And, uh, you learn how to work with people and, and yeah, over the course of development, it kind of snowballs. Like, I made a few games in the beginning all with one programmer and those games got the attention of other programmers who wanted to work with me and then I was befriending these different programmers and I've worked with a lot of different people over the past 10 years and it just all kind of intertwines and comes back and forth and like you mentioned you talked to Tyler um, and I made Ether with Tyler and uh, Tyler's currently helping me put a compilation together on Steam of, of some of my older Flash games where I'm kind of like revamping them and adding achievements and all this other stuff to him and releasing him on Steam. And he's the one that's doing that. And, like, it's just, like, my first game I ever made, I made with Tom Fulp of Newgrounds, who went on to make Castle Crashers. So it's like, if you just stick around, you just if you stand the test of time and you just stick around regardless of how good you are, um, you, you just, you get out there and you you kind of get taken with the current, I guess you could say. And you end up meeting a lot of people and learning a lot of things and, uh, yeah, it's 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 you just take it where it, where it where it leads you. 